Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to uh, the third and final part of One Spot a Game, episode 14, where we're playing Shoot the Moon, Need for Speed, Pod Racing, yeah. Simulator. So, 2016. 20... <laughs> it's a long time ago, it's not 2016, 2K16. <laughs> well, the game came out in 2016. Oh, okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Damn relativity. Okay, um, so, uh, it comes back to me, it's my turn. Uh, right? Yep. What I'm going to do is we are uh, in media res uh, of like the one of the first uh, heats of the Croissant 500. Um, we are we are in the middle of the race. Um, Baz, Baz, our beloved, is, is very, very close to me. Either, um, I think me and him are like tied. We're neck and neck. However, there's like a couple people ahead of us. So we're maybe like fourth and fifth place in this race or, or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we're getting to the part of the race where it's getting into um, sort of like canyons and stuff. Uh, I, 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 I guess like underground, like sewer canyon, like, nice. you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. kind of stuff. We're going to like go into these tunnels and um, we're running out of room here. And the only way we're going to be able to, um, I don't know, it's like it's it's a big advantage to be as close to front as possible in in, in this part of the race. So um, what we're gonna have to do is like we both realize that one of us has to kind of like slingshot the other in some sort of like pod you know pod racing um, technique. Okay. But. Um, but that means like the other person has to be like okay with like you know kind of doing it. It's not cheating or anything. It's just like, uh, like alley ooping. I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. Shake and bake. Yeah, it's shake and bake. Yeah. Shake and bake. It's a shake. Yeah, exactly. It's a pod. <laughs> it's a pod racing Need for Speed shake and bake. Um, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the I best think... analogy. That's exactly what I was thinking. Baz like shouts over because you know the the pod racers are open in air mm -hmm. basically. Yeah shouts over is like he's like Zuby you give me an alley-oop I can make it to the end here I think I can even slow down our competition enough for you to catch up you trust me don't you I look at uh like you were like racing and like I like I like look over at him and like we like lock eyes and I just like nod very like solemnly like yeah, like I know what to do, and like you see me go like, and like I like jerk, like jerk over, like go like right directly behind the the guy in front of me, mm -hmm. um, like instead of trying to like cut around him, and uh, I I'm like I just like cry out, it's like okay I'm ready, and like like you see like I'm like in like the uh, the jet stream of the guy in front of me, and mm -hmm. so it's like my 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 pod racer starts shaking. Um, I'm gonna throw, so. Uh, I'm gonna use your cautious to say you have to get past the fact that you're cautious about wondering if this is actually gonna work out or not. Oh, okay. Like you're like you you get into that you get into the position and like yeah your pod is shaking the person and like right the the tentacled alien in front of you in the pod racer with like four engines or whatever like theirs is like huge and like you're not sure if it's gonna work out or not and he like, he looks he looks behind him and like waves a tentacle and like ang in anger at you. And so you're like kind of like hesitating on if you're gonna go through with it or not. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, okay then. So what I'm going to do is, um, so if I'm cautious for that, I want to think. I want to rely on my pod racer. Um, so uh, I think I think maybe I would I would be cautious about it. Um, but for this instance, uh, with the upgraded parts with my pod racer, um, that, that we got from repairing it, basically, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust that my pod racer won't break down while I do it. Um, so I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna start by invoking that. So, um, so, like, I instinctively, like, want to go veer behind that pod racer, um, but... I hesitate for a second, and then instead of having like some sort of like weird choppy green static link, it's like a solid verdant green, um, kind of like you know uh, vibrant green, uh, linking thing because of the new upgrades. 
mm-hmm. and uh, that that gives me a sense of confidence um, to pull this off. I think of um, I also like after I I hearken back to the um, the time we spent in in Baz's garage in the Sarlacc pit um, that we were willing to cooperate there and we each achieved. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna trust that he knows what he's doing, um, and with with his daredevil, I've seen him do the stunt before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so that gives me. Am I at four dice? Yeah, you're at four now. Um, I think that. Um, oh, and no, 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 no! So I'm gonna. I, s- no, I'm I'm just the oh no! I'm gonna say. Racer. I'm oh. just the fastest pod racer. You know what? We we get this. And I will be able to not only like the only reason I'm not in first oh. place because somebody cut me off. I was going to because s- we're in these canyons. Once I can get ahead, I can get <sighs> all the way ahead. I I mean that's perfectly valid, but I have a better valid reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> I well, want him to get ahead so I can see his butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the way the way the way. Bad I mean, I mean, I know you wanted to elaborate <laughs> that, no. but you know, I. It's like a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. no, totally, and like he's, yeah. He's got to, like, be standing on the pegs. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> so, He's absolutely. That, there we that. go. Yeah, so six dice for you. Six. Mm, Roll. Let's do it. Uh, 66. Oh, my God. Six, five, four, four. Yes! You got it. Yep. I actually got it. Holy shit. I've never won anything That's before amazing. in my life. <laughs> Um, so if the, um, so if the beloved and the active player win, they each can check off a box for their own goal. Yes. So we've actually get another, I didn't another actually, point? I didn't, I didn't write the points there. So that's I, a point I, though, right? I, I hate to, I hate to point this out, but I think you were, um, counting wins wrong and that should actually be a tie. And back at the beginning. Oh no, I, no, I have a five. Yeah, I yeah. know. That's, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh. Page 21. Uh, only count the highest die. It's how many of the highest die you have. Not oh, like the next Oh, one. shit. Yeah. So that's a tie. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. See, I didn't read that. I, lo- I was looking at the example roll below. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I was thinking I'd go to the consecutive. No, nope, you're right. Okay, so it's a tie. So that beloved player adds a trait for each of the suitor characters. And we can still do a thing. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, um. if it's a it's if it's a loss or a tie, we can always go to the second pool. Here, in the case of a tie or a loss, um, the active player and the beloved player will still get another chance. Um, first the opponent, yep. Yeah, so then I can make a, another suggestion for what occurs and a new trait for each, for one of you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't let you just win. <laughs> I, I apologize for reading the rules. That's fair. Yeah. Um, I'm too busy staring at his butt. I, it's, it's fine. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm going to say. Um, Okay, so yeah, so it you go through with it, like you go through, you have like, like you have like your, like, time stops, moment of hesitation, but then you you decide to go through with it, but um like the cameras that are showing the heat are being broadcast to people, and like they happen to catch this exact moment, and like seeing this technique being used gives like some kind of like another kind of like like they're seriously doing that. Like that's that's bullshit kind of thing. Like, how dare they do that? This is this is sexy pod racing. How dare they <laughs> and do something it's like like I feel like it's one of those like moves like where uh like like uh you get behind the one pod racer and then I get behind you and then yeah. you pull out at the right moment and then that pushes me up the wall and over the other guy. Yeah, like that's yeah. I was thinking yeah, something yeah. like that. That 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 sounds yeah. perfect. Oh, I note think- it is. No, holy shit. Note it is. Um, it gives you enough power that you actually don't have to go in the tunnel it's, or something like that. So you're like actually like cruising oh. ab- above on the streets. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, so like it's like, um, I, I, I'm thinking maybe it's like it's like a it's like an unspoken thing that nobody does it, but you guys are doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so like it's faux like pas. The cameras happen to catch that kind of thing. So like uh. So is it like racing faux pas? Yeah. Not so I'm not Where like the trait, the trait wouldn't be like cheater, but it'd be something like disrespectful or something like that. Like dis in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you put my other trait from the last time we messed up? <laughs> Which one? Uh, the the. Oh no, we wound up with. Uh, I got. I removed your trait. You 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 gained broken, but then got rid of broken. Yeah. Right. I thought we uh went with um. From the very first scene. Um, slandered. Slandered. Yeah. It's 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 next to fastest. Where? To the left of fastest. You not see it? Oh, to the left of the. <laughs> yeah. My brain did not consider that part of the same. Got it. Um, so is this okay. folk? Well. So, um. So let's let's describe what this what the adjective is again. Is it not? It's not unsportsmanlike, is it? Something like so, like something like that, where it's like this is like a thing where like everybody knows you can do it, but like nobody does it. But you guess since you guys are like deciding to say screw it, uh, like it's, it's not it's not like it's, an, an illegal move. It's just like a ever, like all the racers kind of unspokenly are like, no, we're not gonna do that kind of thing. Like that's uncon uh, try hard, try hard, <laughs> yeah. Uh, King making, ooh, unsportsmanlike or something to that effect. Okay, kind uns of, unsportsman. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's so long. Okay. <laughs> Slandered, unsportsmanlike. Done. Well, did we re-roll? Or did you re-roll? Um, no. Okay. I'll, I'll remove it if, if we can. I'm just, I'm just putting basically the stakes out there. Gotcha. Okay, so then you get to make your new pool. Wait, okay. Oh, I didn't get that one point, actually. That's right. Oh, wait, no, you, yeah, no, you, you get four. Never mind, yeah. I forget. God. Okay, so I win that one. Yep, and I'm considered unsportsmanlike. So, um, the active suitor gains, or no, the wait. So, does a suitor get a trade as well? Um, because it says, uh. Apply the same results for winning as for the first pool. Uh, if the opponent wins, yeah, the the you have to give the uh, active suitor a trait. Okay, so both, yeah, so you'll get. I guess I guess giving both of you unsportsmanlike like would make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I, mm -hmm. I'm on that. Text box. Yeah, so like the move goes. The move goes through. Um, but like that scene is just like right, like the cameras happened, like your your like po like pod cameras or whatever happened to be going right at that exact moment, and so like everyone sees that happen. Mm. And the, the race finishes, and that moment that you do that is just playing over and over again. Yeah. Um, and then like, uh, yeah, like the um the the es the space ESPN people are just like, no, this move has been talked about for for the for centuries and no one ever no one's done that in the last 500 years or whatever and it's like mm -hmm. just talking about like how, how like how how dare you disrespect the sport like that and just <laughs> this in the game yep this in the game <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so then we get unsportsmanlike how dare you okay so now it's a scene for uh tula mm -hmm. okay um Okay, so um uh, I have some ideas but I don't want to take too liberty with what with what I guess what would Baz do after the heat? Where would where where would he where might he be alone after the heat? Like, would he like go back to the pod, to the garage, or would he go to like a cantina? Like, 
Where do you want to find him? I was gonna like suggest maybe or like something like that where like he like goes to the cantina and, like and like tells everyone else like like screw you guys I'm gonna go be alone or like he he like goes to the garage like after hours or whatever to just like sit or, or like work on the on the pod or something. Um, yeah, I'm cool with either one of those. Okay. Um. Yeah. So yeah, let's say let's say let's say it's the cantina, okay. and um, like the bartender knows you or something and so uh like you have like a booth off to the side where like nobody's supposed to go to the booth mm -hmm. and and you've got your uh you've got your blue milk or whatever <laughs> and um it's, it's highly alcoholic blue milk Please right <laughs> it's the, it's spiked blue milk <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um and then like you get you hear like uh so you're like like sitting there sitting there like uh, like sipping at it or whatever and then, um, just like a, like a, like a knock on the, like the side of the, of the booth. Mm -hmm. And then, um, it's, uh, like Tula's standing there and she's yeah, looking down. And and w without even like looking up as it's like, I'm fine. Wait till it's done. Then bring me another. And you can tell like, this is not his first, this is not his first blue milk of the night. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, who, 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 you, you were the one that was describing how that ended. Who actually, what place did uh, Baz and Zuby actually finish? Like, sure, is there all the bad press about it, but what, what place did they actually finish that heat? Um, oh, maybe you guys did end up, like, first and second. Like, uh, what would be better? Who? I'm thinking, like, first and second, but it's, like, being disputed or something like that. Like, Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. That's okay. Like it was a photo finish, and there's still some, some uh, dispute o over. Yeah. Like there's a big like thing like about like how you guys were you guys were really close, but you also did the thing. It's not technically illegal, but it's very heavily frowned upon, and mm. so they're like no one's really sure what to do right now. And so like, oh, the Croissant Five Hundred is on hold. Until, until Damn. Someone, until oh, until <laughs> until it's uh, uh yeah. confirmation has been reached. Oh god. Um, oh okay. Then definitely. yeah. Definitely. This is definitely not my first blue milk uh-huh okay yeah so um doping scandals <laughs> yeah so uh or yeah so you say that and then uh two like, you hear like her like chuckle and then like you see uh two two um like two like dr other drinks or whatever get like sat down one like in front of you and one on the other side and then she kind of and then she uh i saw you weren't finished with that one but i thought you might uh could use another and i'd Figured I would, figured I would buy it for you. Mind if I? This uh. Yeah, like, like he lo he looks up, like actually looks up for the first time, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, Tula, um, sure. Is that a a? <laughs> Screw it, we're stealing names. Is that a pan galactic goggle blaster? <laughs> How did you know those were my favorites? I've uh I like I like to know I like to know who my uh who my driver is, you know? I'm I'm working for you. I'm supposed to make you look good. I wanna I it's my job. Off the racer off the racer not. This other side taken? It is now. You're sitting here. Yeah, and he like, smiles and like uh like he moves the blue milk to one side and picks up the uh pangalactic gargle blaster. <laughs> oh and, uh... I got it. I got it. I know oh. what's gonna happen. okay. Here's hmm. here's okay. here's the complication. Someone poisoned the water hole? No. There <laughs> and there's no snake in your boot. <laughs> but um some reporters come in. Uh, oh. They sneak in to uh, to the booth, and they're looking for some words. They're like, oh, "Baz, Baz, Baz, have a, co a couple minutes of your time. Uh, what what like, what are your comments?" About yeah, about to like raise yeah. a glass uh -huh. of toast. They're like, yeah. "Baz, like shoving microphones in my yeah, face." Exactly. Is that Baz the what, racer? What are your comments? What like what are your comments about the suspension of 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 the croissant five hundred? <laughs> I miss allegations of of of. Of scandals. Okay. 
Right. <laughs> jump gate. <laughs> it's called it's called jump gate. Chris Lamb talking about the jump gate scandal. <laughs> Mm. What do you have to say about jump gate? <laughs> okay. Um, is it true you took bribes? Yeah. It's like there's just random allegations being. Do you have it? And like someone else, like, do you have any comments about your pit manager uh, uh, resigning? Oh, I missed allegations. <laughs> oh wow. Oh man. The one uh, that hired you. Mm hmm. Vin Diesel. Uh, Vin Diesel quit. Vin Diesel. No, Vin Diesel. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm a reckless risk taker, so I'm gonna like set my drink down mm -hmm. and basically Commander Shepard Commander Shepard this reporter and just punch him in the face. Oh my god, you punch a reporter. <laughs> nice. Um That's so, so your reckless risk taker coming into action there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So okay. I think I think we'd be fighting over you probably, Tula. Okay, well that that makes it easy then. <laughs> uh, would you be in jail? <laughs> in jail. You, right? you can be in jail. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. If you if you're if that's jailed, what you want to give yeah, like you'll be jailed like overnight or something. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so, um... Uh, I think that you're. Um... I think you're being a plain human actually uh, comes to your aid in this um, because um, you blend in. Yeah, like because okay. yeah, you can you can blend in with most of the other patrons of this bar are also pretty human. Yeah, and so okay, you can yeah. just kind oh, yeah, of fade in the crowd. So yeah, so um, I yeah, so I get up and I punch the reporter and like knock their camera or whatever down. Like the the, the lens cracks. Um, mm -hmm. I look around and I see like out, maybe I see out a window, like a big crowd of people mm -hmm. and then I look at you and I like, re like reach my hand out to you and it's like, let's get out of here. And I'm invoking your daredevil. Yeah. 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 We, uh, we go for a, a, a like race through the crowd, kind of a, a scene. Yeah. So that would be, um, three dice so far. No. No. Five. Or four. Four. I was thinking. Or, six. I was gonna say I, I was thinking five for it, it was six because you invoked one of your own, then you invoked one of mine, and I invoked one of yours. With uh the human? The plain human? Yeah. That would be just one for the second time of my own trait. Yeah. No, but I was the one that invoked it though. Oh, okay, you oh you get Oh. Am I reading that wrong? Uh, I was under the impression that um, it's in terms of the, the suitor's frame of reference. Because it says the the active player and the beloved's player create the dice yeah. pool. Oh, they that's true. The responses. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I, I thought it was like for my traits. The first one is two dice, and then any after that is one dice. Okay. Like, even if it's you or me. Oh, so well, it is. Mean... So it is six then. Okay. 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 Yep, so 6d6 versus 5d6. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Yeah! Got it. Yeah! We get out of here. Yeah! Alright, so I run won. For it through the crowd. Um, I can play when they can each check off a box toward their own goal. They may also each add a trait to their character. Yes. Um, I get a point. Okay. Yep, so I also get a point. Um. Okay, um... No, you actually technically earn two points. Mm -hmm. oh, I earn two points? It's a second round. Oh, right. Oh. We each earn two points because it's a second cool. round. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's, a, there's a three next to me. Is that is that for anything? No, that's been there a long time. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what that was. <laughs> it's been there since character creation. I don't know why. What three? Oh, okay, cool. There's a, there's a dice next to me. I wasn't sure if that was keeping track of something. Oh, I don't see that die. Uh, I see it. Okay. Weird. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Roll twenty. <laughs> it's it's off your screen. That's why. It's just slightly to the right. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's not a big. It's not a big deal. I was oh. just wondering. Um. All right. So I get uh, two dice or uh, two points. Um. And then. I think I'd like to get. Could I get rid of frazzled? 
or I guess what do I no, no I, I'm gonna add something something different that's good okay um, uh, what would you like to add yeah I was trying to think of like um I, okay, so yeah, as, as we like, yeah we, we run out of uh, the cantina and into like this big crowd of people, and then like he going through like uh, uh, like through the through the crowd right, winding through it, and then like we like end up in like a back alley or something, seeing like the sirens of people like pa things passing by, but we're, we got out scot free, mm -hmm. and so um, and like I like so I like I'm like we're like, <sighs> and I, I look up to you and I'm just like to you just without even think, like thinking about anything else, just kind of like. You're, you okay? And like, he's uh, he's also breathing a little bit heavily because he, he's used to going fast, but not on his own two feet. So he's like, yeah, <laughs> thanks for dealing with those reporters back there. Of course. I'd... <laughs> Anything for you. <laughs> yeah, basically, like, like I, 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 I don't care that I could have got thrown in the space jail. I'd do anything for you. And so I'm gonna add dedicated to Baz. Nice. Um, yeah, and I think uh, I think that Baz feels like you really got him out of a tight spot because he was not in a position to talk to reporters. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think I'm going to add indebted to Tula. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. All right, and then we go to Beloved's turn. Yep. Okay, uh, let's get some trouble up in here. Um, hmm. I think that Bookie the Hut is gonna be causing some uh, havoc. Um, let's see. Uh, I feel like, hmm. Do I want to kick it all the way up to 11? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. We are running out of time. All right, well, screw it. Let's go with uh, uh, the suitors and beloved are threatened, all three of us. Oh, shit. Uh, Bookie the Hut has uh, decided that um, the three of us are in cahoots trying to... Uh, ruin his betting. Yeah, yeah. Ruin his uh -huh. betting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. I get it. Our, I get you, yeah. Yeah. Our, conglomeration is going to mess up his racket mm -hmm. and you know, he has sent some knee some you know some guys out to bust our kneecaps or worse and uh uh i think the the, the three of us were at the sarlacc pit um like making some like final last minute modifications okay. and um tinkering around in our shops yeah yeah tinkering around in the shop uh on the very on, on the racers you know all, all three of us were there together and maybe everybody else has gone home mm -hmm. and we're just like doing that last thing and uh, I feel like uh, Baz gets up like sweating and he's taking his shirt off or like like he was wearing like a like a coveralls jumpsuit and he's uh, uh, taken off the top part and tied the uh, mm -hmm. the arms around his wa waist and he's taken off his shirt and he's standing there sweating and he's beautiful blue skin and uh he uh gets up to go get some more water um and he's standing there at like the water fountain uh when all of a sudden uh two thugs burst in and uh uh start to uh, start making threats they're like all right you guys bookie the hut doesn't like what you've been doing you either gonna cut it out or you're gonna lose your kneecaps. So like, um Uh oh, Baz, these guys are serious business. Yeah. <laughs> so like Baz is like in the back of the room, and so the two of you are like between between uh him and the uh bad guys more or less. Um
And uh, so, yeah, if you guys, um, if you guys fail, maybe well, looking at some broken right. bones. Well, I'm, I'm going to exercise caution immediately and be like, whoa, 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 there's no need for trouble. Let's talk this out. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Response. No, there's no need for trouble. You can just say you're going to be on your way, and uh, these clippers are going to take to the pod instead of your face. Oh, not not the pod racers. What? Just listen. We're we're fine. We don't we don't want any trouble from from Bookie. That ain't what he heard. What? We we don't even bet. None of us here bet. <laughs> 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 so like I come out from like underneath the pot or something and like Marv Frank the hell are you guys doing here Tula gasps yeah and Bass is like you know these meat wads yeah I work for I work for him and I like not not towards Baz no, it was what Baz said. Was that you know? Oh, okay. Um, okay. In, in that in that case, she like, yeah, she like blushes and like kind of like looks away. And then, um, we travel in some similar circles. Mm. And there's um, like a scoff from the the two thugs. Uh huh. Um. All right. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I, I basically I realize the cat like like the cat the cat's out of the bag. So I'm like. Look, Bookie knows me. He knows I wouldn't mess with this. I may lose a lot, but I lose fair. When I win, I win fair. Like you, you have their attention, but they're not ready to back right, yeah, yeah. down yet. Um. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? Screw oh it. my God! No. I'm going. Okay. Yeah. Do do your. Can do I your... suggest one? I wanna. I wanna. Uh, I wanna uh, give you a suggestion. Okay. Uh, at that moment, Vin Diesel. Kicks down the door. Vindy! Vindy! <laughs> with like a with an aim one of those like crossbow guns. A bowcaster? Nice. Being like Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave these two alone. <laughs> uh that's my my it's my suggestion. You can get four dice if you accept my suggestion. What what, what, what are you gonna add a trait? Well, okay. yeah, I would kind of modify it. Would be um, uh, pit manager. Um, uh, I don't know how. how I really did chose. Okay, so the related trait would be chosen by me. Um, uh, you'd be indebted to Vin Diesel. You'd be indebted well, to the course. yeah yeah indebted totally. to the the Wookie manager uh -huh. for saving your life. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, totally. So yeah, he like kicks down the door. Hey, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Stop all the download. Mindy, you're not a computer. Oh. Yeah, so he like, he, like, he like fires off one or something and like they, like that kind of like gives like me leverage to be like, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just calm down. And I reach into them, like I reach under my uh, like the like I, I, I'm also wearing that same like thing, but like um, I'm just got like the tank top on or whatever. I reach into that and pull out the necklace with the rings on it, and like, and I like hang it, like dangle it in front of Marv or one of the guys. I'm like, look, Boogie can take this as collateral. And I think things uh... fine. Consider it a gift. We're not fixing things, and I'm giving up my dead spouse's wedding band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a sacrifice if I ever heard one. Damn. I think Marv, like, nods and is, like, like, takes it and, like, kind of, you know, like, tosses it a couple times in his palm and it's like, this might keep him happy for a minute. 
Oh. Okay, so then I have to uh, I have to replace it with something that substantially changes character as agreed to by all players. So um, I've got a suggestion. Yeah, sure. I will, okay. Um, <laughs> it's it kind of turns like a sad sappy one into a positive trait, but uh, <laughs> basically like like um, ready to move on, open to new relationships. Okay. Yeah, I guess either that or I was going to go in the opposite direction of uh, um, guilty, uh, uh, like g guilty about uh, guilty about moving on or something like that. So I guess either um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess ready to move on kind of makes more sense if I'm because I'm I'm. I can we never establish when this was, but like especially if I'm dedicated to if I'm dedicated to Baz now, ready ready to move on makes more sense to me. Do you like that, Eric? Uh, I was uh, yeah, I, I was thinking. Um, I don't know. I I actually uh, I kind of like the other way of looking at it that you're um doubling down, so only only because yeah, fictionally yeah. the way you were playing uh is more like you were more flirtatious. So yeah, okay. Yep, it, so it, re it renewed your um your bond you had with your ex-spouse. I I I will concur that uh, that is reasonable. Okay, so, so I'll, I'll re replace dead spouse's wedding band with uh, guilty about dead spouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the band, the wedding band. Yep. Guilty giving up the wedding band. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so I'm at nine. I can do one more technically. No, you you. Or, is that all? No, no, you're you're at um. You also did. Boop 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 boop. Um. Uh. Where was it? Um. Mm. I thought you would invoke something else, but no, I guess I'm wrong. Never mind. Um, you took my suggestion. Right. Yeah, I took your suggestion for four. I sacrificed my thing for five. Um, I, for some reason, I thought you did something before you taken a suggestion, but I'm thinking of what he did, so never mind. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a flirtation, but the situation is very tense. <laughs> See, yeah, this, is, this is not exactly <laughs> open to flirtation, although maybe it is. So, um... To defuse, to defuse the situation further, um, mm -hmm. I suggest like, well, look, like, look at my standings. I was either first or second. <laughs> um, I'm I'm in a strong position to win a lot of money. Like, I can get, I'll get. What if I give the purse to Bookie? Come on, man, just don't destroy my pod racer, or me. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I think as like as a complication. Yeah, yeah. Um, what what were you creating a complication for the other suitor? So usually, oh, sorry, you would that's for, for somebody else. Yeah. yeah, never mind then. Okay. Um, response involved. Um. Hmm. Oh, uh, fine. No, no, I do. I I sacrifice my pod racer. I'm like, fine. Take, oh shit. I I I say, take my pod racer, but don't hurt Baz's. Damn. Damn, you guys are so. both going going all in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Um. So I sacrifice it, but um. What do I gain in return? Uh. Hmm. Uh. So I took. So I. I did cautious, and then I'm. I'm sacrificing my pod racer. Mhm. Mm um. Something about. I also probably am dedicated to Baz. Damn. But, um, Yeah, sure. 
so I had to give up my pod racer to the bookies for to keep them safe. Okay. Okay. So that's you seven dice. Seven dice. Mm-hmm. Um. Response creates a complication for the other suitor. Um, I guess if I can think of a trait, technically, I'm. This whole this whole thing is technically is pretty much me and in, me invoking my in debt to Bookie the Hut thing. So I guess if if I can if we if, if there's a trait that we can think of to add to add to me. Uh. I'm already in too deep and in debt. How else can I go? How de how much deeper can I go? Um, <laughs> Oh wait, okay, yeah. So I I gave him the thing. Um, um, Zuby said that he would give up his his pod, and then uh, like, look, I know you, I know you, I know Bookie, and they're all sick of dealing with me. What if I le What if I left? Wait a second, I I got an idea. Hmm. Would my my sacrificing of my ship be also flirtation? Uh, romantic sacrifice. Can you can you sell that to me a little bit more? Um, maybe looking character. looking bad. Yeah, looking at Baz. Uh, you know, right in the, right in his eyes and being like, "Don't don't just don't hurt Baz. You can take my my pod racer." He uh, Baz is the most competent. Pod racer that's ever lived. He Most deserves to win this. <laughs> yeah, and Baz like like runs over from the back of the room and like. I'm like, really good with that fucking sugar talk. Let me tell you. That. <laughs> yeah, and he like like grabs you by the shoulders like, Zuby, no, you can't do this. I know what I'm doing. Trust me, one of us has to win. And it he, he, should like, have every chance for it to be you, just as well as me. Oh, then, then I clearly, and it's like, Baz, I'm not just doing it for you. I'm doing it for, for us. <laughs> now that's yeah, flirting. Yeah. Now that's now flirting. Now that's flirting. There you go. Shh. Now no, you're talking. No words. No words. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have, okay, so five, nine, I have 12. Uh, I have two, three. I have ten. Okay. Okay. I have nine. So. That's a lot of dice. Three sixes. Yeah, three sixes is a number to beat. Fuck. Two Fuck. sixes. Damn it, dude! We're right. awful at this. I am a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. When I win, I get to mess your shit up. That player wins the chosen, the chosen level's number of points towards their goal. Three. Mm -hmm. And the adds a trait three. to each of the characters and narrates the outcome from the yep. hurt. Okay. So, um, so yeah, uh, the, um, the goons come and they take, um, uh, they take Zuby's, um, uh, racer. Uh, and they, you know, they take that away. And, um, and, you know, Zuby and, and Baz have, like, that intense moment. It's for the best. Yeah. Um, and I need to give you a trait, though. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think there's a lot of indebted going around. And that uh, Baz is now going to also be indebted to Zuby. Like he's like that sacrifice meant a lot uh, to him. And uh, but for for Zuby, um, oh damn. Um, 
can I just modify an existing thing or do I have to like add a, a new trait? How does that? Um, you can add or modify, I guess. Um, your... Oh, you can add a trait that like contradicts another trait, I guess. It's a contradiction. Um, it, but basically it is your, your brother. Yeah. Uh, he's out of a job now since he was your pit crew and you don't have a pod racer anymore and he's oh. a little pissed. Yeah. Mm. Unemployed big brother. Mm-hmm. Um, and Baz. So yeah, uh, uh, Baz got dedicated to Zuby. Yep. And uh, Tula. Oh. So, so afterwards, um, uh, Baz goes over to Tula and says, what did you, what did you give them? They seemed pretty excited to have it. Was it really that valuable? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's worth quite a lot of money, but it's worth a little more to me. Um, I had someone before all this back on, uh, back on Apple Tart 4. And uh, they're not around anymore. That was the last thing I had of them. Apple tart. <laughs> rip, yeah. rip apple tart. So, so yeah, Baz is uh, um, like, like it, like gives you a hug because he can tell you need it, and um, uh, I think in in that moment it like pushes that over the line. And you are now infatuated with Baz. Oh yeah, like, just completely. So I think. Um, Should we declare our winner? I think we have to declare a winner because we're running out of, out of time. Yeah. So. And Baz, yeah, Baz is the winner. I think. <laughs> she, Baz has five. It's, uh, no, five it's te it's technically uh, um, it's dice four. for the goals. I have four dice. So we all have to roll our dice. Well, roll. you got, you got two I and then three, right? I really shitty. Yeah, no, like I got one and then and then three. Yeah, oh, I have okay. one and and Tola has two. Yeah. Let's uh, just do it. Okay. Oh no no you're right it was two it was two so I do have five. Yeah. Okay. I, could, I could still roll all ones. It's a hundred percent possible. Well, as long as you don't get a six. <laughs> uh, five d six. There are no oh! there. Oh. There are no there. oh my god. 2d6. Right. Six. No six. No six. No six. Oh! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, so you get to resolve this. All right. Oh my god. So, um, compare dice as in a suitor and beloved's turn. If one suitor's player has the highest die their character wins that player narrates how the prize is attained and what lays in store for the suitor's relationship with the beloved so i guess theoretically this could mean that you wind up with baz getting off planet but it's because of tula and not because of baz winning yeah um let's see Cause you, cause Baz just wants to get off the planet, right? Yeah, like that's um, you get get out of here, like Wonderlust. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So I think um, Wonderlust was like the original um, uh, sediment, although we we just wrote down get off the planet. Yeah. Um. um okay, so I think maybe um like. Um, so like, so like, yeah, so after that, like, um, the night goes like that, like that goes on. Um, and then as like the, basically like, like, like the next day, like everyone, like the, the croissant 500 was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. But then, um, like Bookie the Hutt comes out 
and does like the uku taka wacha taka waka naka and basically he's he's canceling the croissant 500 um for an even bigger race and uh because like there was too much there there it's it, it's it, it's funny because like it's clearly very hypocritical but like it's basically a ploy for to to get more betting in. Yeah. And he was like, "There's too much corruption in the Croissant 500." Yeah, so it's we're FIFA. Standing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's too much corruption. It's it's bullshit. So we're we're, we're they're not, they're now gonna have like the Croissant 1000 or whatever it's called, and um, we gotta return the Croissant 500 to its roots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that pretty much. But yeah, so now um, like it's a different. It's like a different prize and everything. So now uh, like the whole win to get off the planet isn't available but Tula already said she was gonna leave and so like we like it kind of goes down to uh Baz and like Baz is like <laughs> maybe Baz is at the cantina again and mm -hmm. um like Tula Tula like, like comes over and um she likes she sits down that same drink again yeah and um hey you look like you need this <laughs> Just pretty, like pretty much the exact same thing, just way different circumstances. And so instead of like going for a toast, he just <laughs> he just chugs it down, drinks the whole damn thing, and it's uh -huh. like I'm never getting off this shithole of a planet. Um, and then instead of the other drink, I set down like a like a duffel bag. Um, and I like look, I like I kind of like lean down on the table and like like grab your chin and pull it and like pull it up to look at me, and like. Vindy no Vindy knows a guy who knows a guy and him and I are we got a sh we got a ship that's leaving tonight. We got we got another seat. And uh I think like like Baz takes a minute to just kind of like blink through a drunken stupor. Mm -hmm. And it's like when are we leaving? It's taking a midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's midnight, so that's appropriate. And then, we, yeah, and then, yeah. So she smiles, and then camera fades, and credits roll, and they're on the ship to 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 the pla to planet Pumpernickel. All right. <laughs> the Pumpernickel. So, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I love sexy pod racing. Oh, uh, this is fun. Sexy, sex, sexy pod racing drama. All right. I would say that the last third of that game was way more fun than the first third. <laughs> well, no, the character <laughs> setup and everything was a lot of fun. But then, like, the, the first round of conflict just didn't jive. And then the end felt good. Yeah, I think... Um, um, what do we think? I think? Yeah, so I guess... I think the game works really well until you get to building the die pool. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. Uh, it just doesn't doesn't really jive well. It'd be nice if there was another conflict resolution system than than a like. Well, I guess I'm I'm all, I'm kind of doing this, so let's narrate it in this in this way. Like, like I I get where it's coming from, and I I think it will work the more. But you just have to play it more to understand, and you have to play it in the frame maybe, of the yeah. language. Like you have to play to win, right? You have to play to get dice. But the way you do that when you're only doing like a one shot and learning it, it's very jarring. It's not very conversational. Right. It's just like like like, there, like, it, it, like even on like basically every single time we're just like kind of like sitting here like um, well I guess this one kind yeah, of yeah and you you like you like zoom thing. out yeah it, it doesn't feel exactly it's jarring it, it's um yeah. it, it it breaks the tempo of the game uh, like, and, and like, sometimes the tension of a scene it right mm -hmm. at least at least it is for a one shot. Mm -hmm. I feel like it definitely is a matter of knowing your character. Yeah. And, like, if these are the traits that your character have, how would they react in this manner? And I think that being able to pull on that and then dedicate your, you know, get your dice pool from that. Like, if you're in a physical setting, you could start narrating something and just, like, grab a number of dice or hand a number of dice over to the other person. It may feel more natural that way. I don't know. Um it be it, I don't know, I'm not sure how it would work out, but like if the die pool was formed beforehand, like you have this many die for this situation or this many die for this situation, like so you don't have to just break everything and pick like pick everything together and then get back into it. 
like or, or some or some other kind of like conflict resolution well, like the the way it's like, I, I the way i feel like it's meant to be is like you look at your character sheet and you go okay because i'm reckless i'm gonna act in this manner mm-hmm. and then you do something reckless and then you get two dice for it and then suggest hey you know your character is just a plain human so wouldn't that give you an advantage in the crowd i see tula ducking through the crowd in a sea of similar looking faces yeah because all humans look alike we do yeah Yeah, because like like the the whole game felt fine until except for just putting it putting together putting, putting together the, the die pool rolling figuring out who won and then and then it got back to it like because like like even even the whole even the like the obstacle system like that was really cool just like oh wait there what you just said hmm. but except this like okay like like like, like polaris like because I, we were saying talking about beforehand how this reminds us a lot of polaris like that works very very well like if, if it was if it was less less of a Let's roll to see what finds out, and more of a okay. You want this to happen, but there's this exception, and like we go, go back and forth, and I like some, something like that. Or, well, uh, sure. I will actually comment on this. Um, I know Emily Kara Boss uh, actually worked in tandem with the creator of Polaris. Like she oh. reached out to Ben Lehman to create this game. So oh, cool. I don't think I think I don't think it's a coincidence at all that yeah. it sort of has that um, as luck would have it. And you introduce the complication kind of thing to it, yeah. Um, and, and why it's a I, dice competitive thing I like Polaris. I definitely Polaris. feel like that last um, beloved scene like flowed the best out of out of all of yeah of things that we'd had. Mm-hmm. And I, I completely I really, agree with you. I thought that the back and forth of going through the different things worked really well, and then just kind of tallying at the end. Okay, so because of this, this, and this, I have twelve dice. Yeah. Yes, like okay yes those are all things that happened so like instead of saying out loud that i'm taking this aspect and i'm going to be using it in order to try to leverage for dice just mentally have that i have this aspect in the back of my mind or i'm using the mm-hmm. sacrifice mechanic um and then narrate it um i think works uh or worked pretty well um but it's also hard to get your head to wrap around the mindset of uh, how much of this needs to be blatantly stated beforehand and how much of it can be um you know uh validated as an afterthought yeah that's what i'm I'm so glad you brought that up because that's what it, it felt like to me too is um that the tr- like it's so hard to come up with traits I don't know, like having traits come mm-hmm. afterward i don't know like I, for me the the invoking traits in in conflict it was really like, difficult a lot of the times because it just not i don't know like it just it felt like a lot of the conflicts we were having were not like how the characters were set up at least it was for me especially the first one where i was like reaching out because it's like i'm just not seeing how this is connecting like i can't draw on any of this and mm-hmm. I think that's partially an experience from my end about creating traits. Um, yeah. Like I do, partly, like pigeonhole myself. And maybe um, part of it is is either um, being willing to just suck it up and be like, well, I guess I'm only rolling three dice because I can't come up with a valid third. Right. Um, yeah. Trait to invoke. That, yeah, and that's where it's weird because it's a competitive thing. So like, you you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, so like it's like you you I I ne- like oh. there was t- there was definitely times where I was like, well, I kind of only have three, but I'm trying to win, so I'm gonna sit here and be like, okay, Wookie Pit Manager, how can I bring that in? Pod Risk Picker, can I bring that in? Like alternatively, um, I think I think the suitor conflicts with that the the fact that the beloved is is tied to the suitor for that one against the the other suitor in those types of regards. I think the beloved's supposed to be more active and being able to like assist the, um, you know what I mean, like be able to assist the other suitor for those regards. Because since both of your necks are on the line, because mm-hmm. uh, you both get points if you succeed, well, we we um, I think, you have I an think... incentive to like 
communicate with each other over this, right? Well, I was trying Thoughts? to do that throughout that and and add my my own two cents and my yeah. uh, Baz's expertise into each situation while we were in a conflict, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just rolled some really, really shitty rolls. Yeah, really. Yeah, it definitely feels like the the di the resolution system and the rest of the game are like separate. Like, it flows yeah. and then halts. So I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna reach out. So tomorrow is Thursday. <clears throat> Thursday's my story game Seattle's night. So I don't stream, but um, I do go to a local comic book store and play story games with people. Uh, awesome. in, in real life so um, I'm actually going to ask some people there um, about shooting the moon and, and be like so this is my experience uh, this is what my, my my friends and players also said what is it that I'm missing um, about this game like wh how can I what what's the what's the impetus like what's what's the secret twist that makes this game work so well yeah um, We'll see. Yeah, maybe, maybe there is something that they're like, "Oh no, you're supposed to do it like this," and we'll just be like, "Oh yeah," like so maybe there. Yeah, um, there's something that we skipped over in the rules or something, but yeah. No, I if this might be wrong, but I most distinctly remember someone saying that shooting the moon sometimes just doesn't end up working right. Mm. Like, like I mean, it's just sometimes it's just it's a weird flow that wasn't as wasn't as fun as you think. Um, for some reason, that's gnawing at me. I'm not sure if I'm just like projecting that. <laughs> I don't. I, 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 I don't. I, I don't, don't want to say, but I, but there were some de definitely some awkward moments. Yeah, it felt like. Uh, I, Tony I has an interesting question. Like Eric, you've played as both the beloved and a suitor now. How do, how would you compare the two roles? Um, I I think the suitor role is easier, especially for your first time playing. Um, the beloved's kind of more complicated, but even then, though, it's basically it's almost marginal. Mm -hmm. uh, it really, I, I, part of me thinks though, the difficulty of the role, most much like all story games, it, it's so contingent on the setting and the contributions and sort of the in media feeling that are going on, that like, it's, it's easier sometimes than others. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so it, it's hard to compare the experiences because they were so different from different games. Like this one felt, uh, this felt sometimes more like in tune and in step with each other than Monday's Night's game at, at some points. Mm -hmm. I do think it, it's a little weird because like, like the Beloved is also trying to win like and beat us, but all that the Beloved does really is suggest things for a, like the suitors die pool mm -hmm. well yeah because you're you get points if the suitor wins for you right so yeah. like you're trying to do all of this yeah because yeah on the, on the suitors turn only the suitor is rolling but the beloved can add to that die pool mm -hmm. but on the um beloved's turn there's a there's a something that affects either, um, you know, depending on the risk level, either the suitors need to overcome it, the suitors are in danger, or the suitors and the beloved are in danger. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, in that one, though, the, the beloved doesn't really get a chance to be like, hey, I'm not just a damsel in distress here. I'd like to contribute. I, I, to I, I, mm -hmm. um, I'm actually doing something. Help. Yeah. Um. But on the other hand, it could be like hand waved as, you know, the beloved is taking care of themselves, and the, uh, you know, the rest of the, uh, the other two are are competing to also succeed, um, yeah. or to be the one to to come to the rescue even if she doesn't need it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, the the beloved role like it 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 switches off back and forth from feeling passive to active. Sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah, I definitely feel that it's very interesting. Um, yeah. I had a lot of fun being. Yeah, the, same the when I when I did it. It was it was fun. good, but 
Um, I do like, yeah. I don't know, I, I want to play this game more because I feel like I just, I don't quite get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's probably something I'm missing because I'm, I'm a dumb sometimes. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, well, play I'll, it tomorrow. Tell us yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm going to play it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm, I would, as always, every game that I do at Story Games, I write it up on my blog. So uh, my thoughts will be there um, at ericvulgaris.com. But uh, additionally, I will I will absolutely be talking about it uh, next Once Upon a Game or, or next stream. And um, speaking of next Once Upon a Game, uh, this Sunday I will be, yeah. playing, be playing Fiasco. We'll be playing some a, a romance set for, for Fiasco. Are, are, we, are we cats? I'm not sure. Have we, did, we, did we decide on you? I think we decided on all being cats. Uh, Aseni, will, Aseni will be playing with us that day. Awesome. Are we? Are we doing oh, all cats? No, I really wanted to play in that, but I had to duck out because that conflicts with my IRL oh. game. Mm. Where if, I'm if a cats, I'm cool magical with it. octopus. Yeah. So we're mm -hmm. definitely we're definitely going to be doing that. Um, it's 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 either it's either cats or it's something else funny relationship wise. I can dig it. <laughs> um, so I thought I thought everyone shot me down when I was like we should do cats, and everyone was like that's hilarious. No. Yeah, that's that's what that's what I mean. I thought we picked the playset already, but I don't. I'm I'm failing to remember what it is. Uh, so we're playing we're playing that for Once Upon a Game on Sunday. Uh, then the rest of that week we're playing uh, one of Ben Lehman's games. I uh, know I said his name a little earlier. He's the guy who did Polaris. Uh, we're playing a game called Hot Guys Making Out. So it's about uh, people in the Spanish Civil War, and it's awesome. So. <laughs> That's... And uh, I heard there's gonna be hot guys, and they may or may not be making out. Exactly. So it's tune gonna... in to find out. Tune in. Will they? Yeah. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. So, uh, outros, guys. Uh, Kelsa, what's up? Uh, so uh, I'm Kelsa. Uh, I do things on the internet, including uh, playing this game, uh, play in a Dresden Files game on Monday nights with Golden WH. Uh, run a Dresden Files game on Sunday mornings sometimes uh, <laughs> uh, play in a Shadowrun game on Saturdays now mm -hmm. uh, in uh, the afternoon Pacific times or at noon Pacific time, noon 30 noon 30 is the correct noon terminology 30. is the yep. correct, yep <laughs> uh, where I play a uh, adorable um uh, a very adorable uh, dwarf that knows literally nothing about shadow running, but is trying to be a shadow runner anyway. <laughs> and all Aww. of the real shadow runners are um, picking up her slack. Uh, although, because she's also a medical doctor, uh, when uh, one of our players lost a leg, and uh, sorry, one of the PCs lost a leg, and uh, another one died, uh, I took the. Uh, the leg of the dead PC and attached it to uh, the one the that's other missing one. the leg. The other one, um, yeah. Saved a lot Fixed of it. <laughs> saved us a lot of yen. Um, and it's only a little bit awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. <laughs> See, that's that's being resourceful. Yeah. Yep. Adam, what about you, my friend? Hey, I'm Dr. Stradamus. I also I do streaming stuff and I tweet. Both of them are at Tuxtradamus. One's on Twitch, one's on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I'm doing game stuff. I I took my first foray into the darkest dungeon earlier yeah. today. Um, I have had people die already. It was it was fun. It was good. Um, so I'm playing more of that. I want to get... I've never actually really played through any of the Witchers, so I think I'm going to start doing that soon, too. <laughs> You're just um, following my stream. That's exactly yeah. like we have the same background. Like that's exactly how I <laughs> felt about it. It's like I never played any of the Witchers. <laughs> and yep. I love Darkest I Dungeon. Never any Witchers, <laughs> and I don't plan to. Oh, I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just following Eric's footsteps as he as he uh, trudges his way through the snow. Yeah. I'm like getting in his. I didn't mean it. Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way at all. I just love that you have the same game interests as me. You're like we have the same game Pandora station, right? Yeah, <laughs> pretty like, much. <laughs> So, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, my awesome. Uh, my Urban Shadows thing is still being worked on, so that's still a thing. Um, Urban Shadows, if you don't know about it, is uh, my way of describing it has been uh, House of Cards meets Supernatural. Hmm. Yeah, um, that's a good so, way of putting it. Yeah. So like vampires, werewolves, wizards, 
uh, thrown into a city with political intrigue and gangs and uh, drama. And it's a really cool game. And I'm trying to get like a open open viewerish kind of West Marches style thing with it. Um, That's so awesome. I'm working. Yep, still working on the sheets for it. Once the sheets are done, it'll kick in, be kicked into high gear. But yeah, so if you're interested, let me know. And yeah. I'm so me. I'm so sad. I have such a tragic pa- history with that game now because that was like the one once upon a game game that we actually didn't get a chance to play. I know. Like, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. The day, I, I mean, that game that we played actually that day was amazing. But, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, the kung fu, good. the the kung fu time going back in time. Yes. That but was so um. Good. Yeah, I mean, Urban Shadows will be played sometime on on Let's mm-hmm. for sure. I would actually love to. I'm definitely tuning in for for your show. Or if I yeah. if I can't, I'm watching the bots. Like awesome. Urban Shadows is awesome. Uh, Mark Diaz mm-hmm. Truman, the creator of Urban Shadows, is awesome. Yes. Um, he does a lot of stuff like what I do. He does the. I mean, he's did, he's been arguably doing it longer than I have forever. <laughs> uh, way more popular, no knowledgeable game designer. Uh, he worked with. Um, oh my god, I never remember her name. Uh, Avery, I think Avery something, the guy, uh, the girl now who did um, The Quiet Year, uh, like worked with her. Um, she does stuff with the Indie Plus community, um, which are all about these indie, indie games. Um, Mark Diaz-Truman's a boss. Oh, he's also working with John Wick to bring out 7C, which the Kickstarter is coming out in a couple of days. And 7C, I'm definitely playing on this, on this <laughs> channel. Yeah, like, um, they're love games. They're, uh, I forget the name of the, I forget the name of like the design company that they have, but they also make. Uh, they're also making uh, masks, which also looks really, really good. Oh yes. Uh, wait, the Silver Age one, the uh, superhero. Yeah, the the teenage. Yeah. Young Justice oh yeah, we're definitely doing that sometime. Oh yeah, my god, uh, you just gave me you just gave me a suggestion for like April or something. Yeah. Uh, April superpowers, and we're just gonna do superpower RPGs or something. April superpowers bring May. Maybe maybe it should be oh, <laughs> April April powers bring May something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> whatever, uh, Mace theme, whatever Mace theme is going to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe it might be a choose your own. I, I would love to have a, uh, like, you guys just vote and, and I just run you whatever you guys want mm-hmm. uh, every day for, for a month. Uh, that might be fun. But um, anyways, uh, this has been Once Upon a Game, uh, episode 14, uh, where, we play, uh, where we played uh, Emily Boss's uh, Shooting the Moon. I know it's supposed to be three rounds, and we only did two, and the first game we only did one. Uh, we're <laughs> working on our speed and our tempo. Um, the game definitely felt better with two, by the way, two, like another cycle around of, of people. Mm-hmm. Um, so February is going to be the rest of um, still be dedicated to romance games. Uh, yeah. March is going to be dedicated to Lovecraft and Madness, because it's March, and it's March Madness. Ah, cool. And uh, then, yeah, April, April, I guess, will be superpowers, and because that sounds super fun. Uh, I'm already thinking of all the games that are superpowery that we should be playing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, check us out. Uh, a lot of, a lot of fun games. I hope you guys enjoyed this stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Follow me here on, 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 on the Twitch and then the YouTubes and, and, and the twit and the tweets if you ever want to play with me. Uh, I can get you hooked up and get you in the in on the schedule here and play with us. So, yep, that will be it. Um, oh, um, one more last thing. This weekend, uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday at seven p.m. Oh, yeah, my time duh. or my time. Uh, Mouse Guard. We're playing Mouse Guard. Uh, Adam yes. and I uh, join Adam and I over at um at AP Gaming Real's uh, channel. I always call it Real because it's fancy. <laughs> um, we're playing Mouse Guard on, on his on his channel. He's a super nice guy. He's, he was hosting me tonight. Uh, mm-hmm. He's a wonderful, wonderful gamer. Uh, he, so I hope hopefully you guys uh. You know, tune into that because uh, yes, I, I had a lot of fun with him playing the Warren. A lot of fun playing Microscope with him. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm having hopefully I have a lot of fun with Mouse Guard. So yeah, yeah, Mouse Guard. So yeah, that's that's what we're doing. So that 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 will do it for All us right. tonight. So thank you so much for for the rambling outro. So good night, night everybody. Bye.